Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. If you're a regular here on the channel, you will notice that the backdrop here is not the normal scenery that you're used to. If you're new to the channel, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. But the backdrop is different than normal because I am in Texas chasing after some Axis deer. So those that know me well know that I am on a quest to have at least a mount of everything on my wall at the house. Next on my list that I wanted to cross off is an Axis deer. So what did I do? I got on the phone and started calling every single ranch in Texas that I could find that has Axis deer. I decided to come here to Tall Tines Ranch in beautiful, beautiful Texas. I'm sure there's a big smile on my face because I'm having the absolute time of my life. I absolutely love deer hunting. The only thing that could make this more of a paradise is probably if my family was here hanging out with me. But I feel like I should whisper because I'm literally looking at some red deer, some black bucks. There's a couple axes out there and I think I even see a handful of fallow deer. But literally on the porch of the lodge here looking at some amazing, amazing animals. Before we get any further, a big, big thanks to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this video. I always appreciate it when you guys support the people that support us, so a big thanks to Sportsman's Guide. I'm gonna read this right off their website. Shop guide gear from Sportsman's Guide for high quality and best value. A variety product perfect for hunting, camping, and everything outdoors. So, if you're an outdoorsman like me, Go check out Sportsman's Guide. Whether you need a cooler like this, this is a Sportsman's Guide cooler, or new boots, or anything outdoor related, go check out Sportsman's Guide first and tell them old hooty who sent you. But again, a big thanks to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this video. But real quick, before I show you some of the other gear I brought and the rifle that I brought, most of y'all are probably excited about that. You might already know because it's probably in the title of the video. But anyways, I'm going to spin this camera around and just show you some of the beautiful animals that I'm sitting here looking at as I'm chatting with you. Check this out. There's a little axis buck right there. Looks like he's just uh, scraped some of his velvet off his horns. Oh, how cool is that? He's literally scraping the velvet off right now. But that's what we're after right there is a, that guy's grandpa. That is a black buck. Beautiful, beautiful animal. There's another couple axis bucks there. Some young guys. Beautiful, man. I'm telling you, I could watch deer all day long. All right, but now that you've seen some of the beautiful scenery that I'm sitting here um, looking at while I'm sitting here talking to you guys, we are after one of those axis bucks. Uh, one of the big boys. Uh, so, I'm in here getting prepped at the lodge, getting ready, and then our guide is gonna take us out uh, to one of the stands here on the property. But, beautiful state of Texas, beautiful ranch out here at Tall Tines. Let me go get the rifle that you guys picked for me to take hunting. I did a video a week ago and said, hey guys, I'm going hunting. Comment down below, here is your menu or shopping list um i'm gonna hunt with the rifle that you guys want me to hunt with and i'm gonna tell you i was really surprised so let me go get out the rifle and show you guys what you guys picked so like i said i let you guys pick the rifle that you wanted me to take on this hunting trip i brought two rifles with me that's always a good idea if you're scope messes up or something breaks with one rifle bring another one i've been doing that for a long time you never know uh, if you need a backup maybe bring three even if you can uh, have the space whenever to bring three but i brought two let me show you the two that i brought guess i gotta open the uh the case here first unlatch it so we got two rifles in here this one that is unsheathed this is my winchester xpr in 300 WSM. For that, if we need it, I brought some Norma Bond Strike 180 grainers. 
have had really good success with that. Filmed videos shooting it at a thousand yards. Really want to film a hunt with that one. But what you guys voted for is what is in this sock right here. And if you hadn't guessed it already, it is my 4570. And we've got these 300 grainers. We're going to fling out of it here. Like I was saying, you guys voted that on my next deer hunting trip, I bring along my 4570. So, my 4570, this is a Marlin model 1895. Give you guys kind of a real quick up close look at it. Marlin model 18, did I say 1875? It's an 1895. <laughs> I'm so excited to be out here deer hunting. I'm fumbling over my words. But um, a lot of people are not a fan of uh, scopes on lever guns. Me personally, I'm a fan of anything that makes me shoot better. With this, I am confident to 200 yards. Um, our shot should be within that, I think. But with this, I'm 100% confident with the scope on it. Out to 200 yards, not a problem. Um, I've sighted this in at 100 yards dead on. At 200 yards, the bullet drops 10 to 12 inches. So at 200 yards, the holdover is a foot high. At 100 yards, we're dead on. And this caliber should have no problem whatsoever dropping an axis deer, even if it's a monster of the world record. But on top, I put a little uh, pick rail on here to mount a scope. And on top, I got this little one to eight power zoom. And um, if you're a regular on the channel, you have already seen the video where we sighted this baby in. Dead on at 100 yards. Um, very, very confident uh, with this rifle. Well, we got the gear out here. Uh, let me show you one of these bullets. If you're not familiar, uh, there's a 4570. And these right here are 300 grain jacketed hollow points. Definitely no joke. Lots of stopping power right here in this 4570. But hey, uh, I'm getting ready here, like I said, getting all my gear out. My guide's going to come out here, uh, pick me up, and then take us out to the stand. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, maybe tonight we'll have an axis on the ground. If we don't see uh, the one we want tonight, we'll go out again in the morning and see if we can find them. But stay tuned. We're going to go chasing after an axis bug. All right, so I'm in here in the blind. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon. But we're going to sit here until dark and see if we can get an axis bug to show up. And if he does... We're gonna be sitting here ready with the 4570. So, you guys picked that I bring the 4570 out on my next hunting trip. That uh, that rifle has kind of jinxed me in the past. Every single time I take that rifle, I don't see a single deer. So, say a prayer for me. Keep your fingers crossed that an Axis buck comes out tonight for us and the 4570 gets to eat on a really nice axis buck but i'm going to show you real quick a view of what i'm looking at out here over this field uh food plot and then we're going to sit here and wait hopefully i don't fall asleep and take a nap i'm going to keep my eyes wired wide open i'm pretty good at falling asleep but let me show you what i'm looking at out here out the window on this food plot Actually, my camera bag 
but uh, if you're hunting, especially from a stationary place, it's always good if you got time to arrange some landmarks. So the feet are out here in front of me. It's just at 75 yards. I just checked it. And there's a chance that the deer can come out of a, a corner of the plot over here. So I'm going to check it. So if the deer come out of the corner of the field to my right, it's a 115 yard shot. There's a field over here where they might come out of. If they're standing in that corner to my left, that's 175 yards. So depending on the caliber you're hunting with, that can be a very crucial piece of information. It definitely is for 4570, so I sighted that in, like I said, at 100 yards. If they're at that 175 yard corner, I'm gonna have to hold seven, eight inches high because of the fast bullet drop of the 4570, but it's five o'clock. We're gonna keep here and sit, uh, sit until sundown. See if we see some axis deer out here. Stay tuned. All right, it's 5.30. A small axis buck just came out into the field. Let's see if we can get some footage of him. Be real quiet. Here, that guy's a little bit smaller. Waiting for the big boy, but we got axis in the field. That's a good sign. Alright, so that concludes day one of my hunting trip out here at Tall Times Ranch chasing after some axis deer. And I came back to the lodge empty handed, but let me give you a quick rundown of what happened. So, about 5.30, I noticed some axis does coming from behind me, which totally threw me off guard. When you're filming your hunts, it's a completely different ball game. I had my camera set up facing this way. Well, the deer came in from behind me. So I saw those does quick. Let me get a little bit of footage of these, move my cameras to where I can actually see them. The cameras couldn't even see where the deer were at that point. And then I saw the two monster bucks come out. So then I got the camera. Let me get some footage of those real quick. Get it back on the tripod so I can take a shot. 
and by the time all that went down it was just 10 15 seconds by the time I got the rifle up to shoot those monster axes had I don't know felt that something wasn't right and then trotted off into the woods I did have another real nice axis come up and hang out for about 10 minutes. I'll show you the clip of this guy again right here. Seriously consider taking a shot at him. And if that was the first axis buck that I saw, I 100% would have shot that one. But since I saw those two big boys, it was kind of like, oh, should I shoot this guy or not? Also got to watch some uh, whitetail and a really cool red deer came out too while I was sitting there. But that's day one. We're going to hit it again in the morning chasing an Axis buck with that 4570. Stay tuned. It's going to be action packed. Lots more critters on the footage. I cannot wait to wake up in the morning. See y'all in the morning. All right, so we got out of here before daylight. This is the first morning. To see what comes out this morning and uh, hopefully pull the trigger on an axis deer but I'm gonna lay low and keep quiet watch the food plot out here and see what pops up stay tuned
thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, big shout out to Tall Tines Ranch out here. They got some beautiful animals. Big thanks to my wife for sending me out here deer hunting. Big thanks to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this video, but we're probably gonna give him a minute and then we're gonna go find that axis buck. He dropped right where he stood, but he skittered into the trees right there to the side of this field, so stay tuned. It was this side of that thicker tree right here. Went all the way through. He's a big bodied animal, man. Oh, look at that big boy. Saw the bullet did go through. Yeah. That didn't have much blood at all though, did it? Mm -mm. I was starting to get worried there for a minute. Oh, there's some blood right here. Yeah, well, right there we're for you. Melted on the ground. Is that a cow or a deer? Is this one of those ones that was on the camera last night or a different one? I think it might be a different one. I think. I think you're right. <clears throat> oh, that's a pretty deer. He's fat. He came out from this side, of course from yesterday I was expecting him to come from behind. Mm -hmm. But he came up right where he, we came in the trees. And I've never seen a deer so skittish in my life. Yeah, he wouldn't stand we still. Skittish still. Yeah. And I hit record on that camera. I said the second he stops, I'm gonna pull the trigger. But he was facing this way, so that's where it came out. I'm starting to lose my faith in the 4570. <laughs> That's a pretty deer. I can't believe there wasn't no blood trail up from here. Well, here's something back here that's a little bit. Yep. <clears throat> but you guys saw in the footage there, the 4570 definitely hit him hard, but super surprised at how far he made it. What do you think? He probably ran 100 yards, maybe? A little, a little yeah, more? I did 100. And almost no blood trail, but we saw where he came in the trees and saw some scuff marks and then found him right here. This is where we found him laying, but beautiful, beautiful axis deer. I'm tickled to death. My heart is still pumping 100 miles an hour, but 4570, that's a good caliber and it will drop on the axis deer. And it definitely, uh, it did pass through, but uh, didn't leave us much of a blood trail, so disappointed in the blood trail, but I'm tickled to death That we have this beautiful axis buck on the ground here Now we got to do a whole bunch of work and, and get him drug out of here and hung up Breaking your back. So, had an absolutely amazing, awesome day chasing those deers. Hey. That is so awesome. I'm stumbling over my words. I had such an awesome day going after those deers. Hey, I love it. You ask my wife, what's, what is his favorite thing to do? She's gonna say, hunting deers, because she knows I love it. I can't get enough. 
I could just sit there and watch deer all day, but I've seen a whole lot of deer in the past two days. Had an absolute blast. Got a whole lot of footage um, of the, the deer I got, the deers that I didn't get, uh, but had an absolute blast taking that Axis buck with the 4570. So thank you to all you guys who suggested 4570. Tons and tons of you suggested 4570. That is why I brought it after that Axis buck. But something real quick, which some of you may have already noticed. I showed you this box at the beginning of the video. That's not the ammo that we uh, shot that deer with. So when I was loading the rifle this morning, I was pulling the rounds out of this box. Uh, there were these uh, lead tip hollow points, which is what is in this box. But there's also some other bullets. These, these red tipped ones, and that is what I sighted the rifle in and what I shot the deer with, which I think these are Hornady FTX rounds. Somebody uh, comment down below. But um, just wanted to make that absolutely clear. That's what's in the thumbnail, those Hornady's. Um, and that is what I shot the deer with. I wanted to uh, drop that deer with the heavier hollow points because uh, I think they have more uh, power to them. But since I sighted the rifle in with those red tip ones, uh, I wasn't going to be guessing on where the point of impact might have changed. So disclaimer out there for anybody who's confused by the beginning of the video. We shot it with those red tip rounds. Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think of the 4570. So I absolutely love this rifle. Uh, but to tell you the truth, I wasn't really impressed with its performance today. So, and that just could be the ammo. Uh, it might be the ammo we used, but you guys saw it in the footage. I smoked that deer. So, in a previous video, you guys that watched the channel uh, would have already seen it. I sighted that rifle in, uh, made sure I knew exactly where that bullet was hitting. I did the bullet drop calculations, uh, so if it was at 50 yards or 200 yards, anywhere in between, I could smoke that deer. When the opportunity presented itself today, I squeezed that trigger, smoked that deer, hit him right where I was aiming, and he dropped, and I thought it was lights out. I thought, well, there really is something to that 4570. And then the dude just like ran over 100 yards. And we had no blood trail. So we looked all over the field, no blood. Uh, and we just started kind of fanning out in the direction that he went and ended up finding him. Uh, you guys saw in the footage where he lay. But I could ramble on about deers all day. You guys know that. If you don't know it, now you know. Uh, but now we have a deer down uh, with a 4570. Appreciate all you guys who suggested it. Uh, Stay tuned for a whole lot more videos. A big thanks again to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring this video. If you're an avid outdoorsman like I am, next time you need some gear, be sure to check out Sportsman's Guide and tell them that old Hootie Who sent you. And I cannot wait to film another video for you guys. Always appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Can't say enough good things about tall times out here where I've been hunting this week absolutely phenomenal phenomenal amazing folks great people having a blast seeing lots of animals and just having an all-around good time super 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 great folks uh, but y'all uh, give a big thanks to tall tines um, I've had a great time hanging out with them I've left this I'm gonna leave this axis buck here with cats taxidermy Y'all go check them out too, Cats Taxidermy. I'll try to find their uh, Facebook links and leave them down below if you guys want to go follow them. But stay tuned for more videos. A big thanks to all y'all. We'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate y'all big time.
black flame 